Hey, what's going on guys? Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be uh, adding to our settings menu. I added our scripts to an options, it's just a, an empty game object by going create empty game object. Uh, and then I put my script onto there instead of being on the camera that I had it on before. I've also added this another empty object which just has an audio source added by going to add component audio and then audio source. And then I've also added a little script onto that one as well. So inside our options menu, I've changed the sound effects volume and music volumes to floats instead of integers. That's because the audio sources can only go from z uh, zero to one, so they have to be a float. I've also added a variable of main camera, which is our camera, and that's set inside the inspector. Further, moving on down inside video settings, I just added a quick little addition on the end of our field of view point here. We've got a uh, main cam dot field of view equals field of view, and that means that our the field of view of the camera is then changed to whatever our setting of field of view inside this script is. We also have another script called, well I've called it the audio source script, and that's simply, it's got an options object, because that's what our options menu is attached to. That can be whatever, whatever your script will be attached to. It could be your player, it could be a settings object somewhere, an empty game object. And inside the update function, we've got audio.volume equals options object dot get component settings, whatever you're going to call your script needs to go in there, um, dot SFX volume. So this is this is for every every audio source that has the that is a sound effect will have this script attached to it, and then I'll make another one that's got the uh, music volume as well. And then just inside our settings script again, the sound inside the sound part of that we've got we've changed our um, because it was from 0 to 10, I've changed that down to 1 on both the music and sound effect part. And then our label needs to display just the whole number of 0 to 10, because using decimal points inside the volume kind of sliders, it doesn't look right. So I've got a plus, and then in, in brackets here, it's got sound effect volume times 10, so that's 10 times whatever this is, because this is always going to be between 0 and 1. That uh, You convert that to string using capital T and capital S, and then use brackets and then F0 inside uh, inverted commas. And what that does is it sets it, so it hasn't got any decimal places on it at all. So it only displays the whole number. So inside the game, if I press, uh, if, I'm inside, if I'm selecting the options there, and I go on to our, say, audio settings, and I change that, that'll change, um, it changes the whole number like that. But it doesn't doesn't really matter. It's only going to affect the volume, isn't it? So that's that. And then our video settings. If I just select the main camera, if I slide our field of view slider, you can see the camera changing. And then obviously, if you press back, that set that that keeps it that way. And inside our audio source, if I change the audio settings, if we look at the volume uh, point here, if I change the sound effects and then click back onto the audio source, it changes the volume of the of the sound effect object as well. So I hope that's been useful and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.